everyone, you're watching First Zoom TV once again. We're here at Computex Taipei over the Radon booth. My name is Manav and I'm here with Vincent, who's going to introduce to us their newly released products for Radon. Vincent? Hi everyone, uh, my name is Vincent and uh, right now I'm trying to introduce you the uh, new solution that we have uh, for the hybrid. Uh, the hybrid right here on my hand, that actually uh, we are developing in uh, five and a quarter c -ROM bay. And actually it will adopt uh, 3.5 hard drive and also the SSD. And the selling point of this one is actually for to improve the performance. Actually you will be using the performance of the SSD and then also improve the performance for the hard drive. As over here, we can see on the monitor that by using 28 gigabyte of the uh, SSD as the cache for the hard drive, you improve the uh, performance of the hard drive uh, from regularly uh, about 100 and then upgrades to uh, 200 megabyte per second for the reading performance. So uh, this one is basically uh, providing performance for the, uh, for the drives. And also, uh, we have the format in uh, the form factor in uh, hard drive size, 3.5 inch uh, form factor. And also, we have another external version of this device. And the interesting part of this one is also this uh, is this uh, this product also provides in two modes. One is for performance I just described, right? And the other one is for the uh, more like a redundancy, like a rate one function, which uh, it will back up the information or the data for the SSD, but not losing the extra capacity of the hard drive, which means we can see back to the monitor again, over here, that we can see two partitions, but the computer will see this device as uh, one drive because we had uh, one uh, SATA port. So it's like a backup? Uh, yes, can be like a backup. Okay. Because I said this one uh, has two options. Right. One's for performance, and the other one is a selective uh, option for uh, backing up for and redundancy. They function equally well on the uh, Yes, because okay. uh, you are always uh, function on the performance of the SSD. Okay. Okay. And also we have an, another new developed device over here, which uh, is a three bay, three bay redundancy device uh, for uh, embedded systems. And this one offers uh, many functions. For example, we can see in the back, uh, it offers in JBAR function, RAID 0, RAID 1, and also RAID 5 in only the size of two CD-ROM. And by the way, it's, uh, it's really easy to uh, configure the, uh, the RAID mode that you wish to because it's only uh, jumper settings. And also over here that we have the device that we have solution for on the left side for 2.5 and also on the solution on the right hand side for the RAID 5 for the 3.5 uh, hard drive. Which means for some, some of the user, they, will, they are capable of writing the software or programs that are to make the system continuous running. Oh, and, okay. and they will be writing the software on the 2.5. Okay. And then store the data on the 3.5 for the larger capacity. So this one offers the alternatives, uh, opportunity of uh, storing and performance on on demand. Depends how they want to use it. So uh, just a quick question. So you were saying on these uh, hard drives like for faster performance, installing it, using it, the whole configuration process is quite simple? Uh, yes, because uh, our solution are all based on a hardware controller. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why uh, no further maybe uh, drivers needed or any other uh, installation, software installation. Only the uh, GUI that we call the uh, graphic user uh, interface mm -hmm. to configure it. Okay. If or for monitor purposes. Okay. Uh huh. All right, really. And oh, okay. oh sorry, I'm sorry. And uh, also, this uh, last uh, device I would like to introduce because this device is what we develop for uh, for the performance itself. This device over here is uh, using a dual SAS interface, and uh, it will provide over 700 megabytes per second. Sorry, could you say again which interface? Uh, dual SAS. Okay. Dual SAS provide dual SAS interface. And then uh, you will provide over 700 megabyte, uh, megabytes per second. Oh wow! But actually, the uh, the actual speed that we tune up to is uh, actually can reach up to uh, 1400. 1400. Right, okay. but uh, it also depends on the controller card that it corresponds to. Okay.